Jacob's Story. Welcome to New Story in English. Today I will tell you a very beautiful short story. The name of the story is Jacob's Story. Let's start reading this beautiful story. Jacob was born in Beit Hanan town in Gaza. He came from a poor family with many children. Life was difficult for Jacob growing up. His family didn't have much money, so sometimes they struggled. Jacob finished school, but there were no jobs. Many boys in Gaza were unhappy. One day, some boys decided to protest at the border. They wanted to tell the Israeli soldiers they need work permits. Jacob went with his friends to the border. Many boys were shouting. The Israeli soldiers shot rubber bullets at the boys. Jacob got hit in his left eye. It hurt a lot. Jacob went to the hospital. The doctors looked at his eye. It was badly damaged from the rubber bullet. They had to take out Jacob's eye. After that, Jacob's eye area kept getting infections. It was painful. But Jacob was strong. He didn't want to give up on life. With one eye now, Jacob learned to do everything again. Some years later, Jacob met a nice girl from his town. Her name was Aisha. Even though Jacob was disabled now, Aisha liked him. They got married. Jacob and Aisha's marriage was happy but difficult too. Jacob could not work a normal job now, but he got a small amount of money each month from an organization that helps disabled people. With this money and Aisha working, they managed to live in a small house. After a few years, Aisha had their first child. It was a boy, and they named him Omar. Then two more children came, twins named Fatima and Yusuf. The family was getting bigger, but they were happy and grateful. Jacob taught his children to appreciate what they had. Though life was hard. They found joy in small things too, like playing together. But trouble always seems to return to Gaza. After a few years of relative calm, the Israeli planes came back. They started bombing many places across Gaza again. Jacob's town Beit Hanan was badly hit during the attacks. Rockets destroyed many houses, including Jacob's. He and Aisha and the children had to flee from the bombs. They became refugees, staying with relatives in another area. As the bombs continued falling, Jacob wanted to check on his old house before the war ended. Maybe some possessions could be saved. But as he walked to his old street, Israeli soldiers shot at him. Jacob was hit in his legs and fell down. He lay on the road, shouting in pain for a long time. No one could come help because of the fighting. Finally, an ambulance arrived and took Jacob to the hospital. Now both his legs were injured too. After many operations and treatment, 
Jacob survived but could no longer walk properly. He needed crutches or a wheelchair to get around. The war finished but Jacob's troubles were not over. His house was completely destroyed by bombs and rockets. All Jacob had left was the clothes on his back. He, Aisha and the children had to live in a tent at a refugee camp. It was a difficult time but the people of Gaza helped each other through sharing what little resources they had. An aid organization donated a truck for Jacob's family to live in temporarily. It was small but protected them from the weather. However, problems continued for Jacob. Aisha soon became pregnant again in the difficult conditions of the camp. When the new baby boy was born, the doctors noticed many severe birth defects. The child was blind, his back was twisted, his arms and legs were misshapen and small. It seemed the stress of the war and refugee camp had somehow affected the unborn baby. Now Jacob had five children but was disabled, homeless and his youngest had massive health problems. It seemed life kept throwing challenges at this one poor man. But Jacob remained strong and hopeful praying for better days ahead in Gaza. The story of Jacob is a brief summary of the struggles faced by an entire people in Palestine. They endure severe suffering every day. Jacob's story is a great example of the tragedy experienced by Palestinians under Israeli occupation which has displaced many families and destroyed their homes. But Palestinians are strong. They resist the injustice and fight for freedom with all their power. Their struggle continues. Jacob's story serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Palestinian people. It reflects their determination to overcome adversity and reclaim their rights and freedom. Despite the suffering they endure, they continue to hold on to their heritage, culture, and identity, fighting for justice and liberation. The End Hope you have enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and find more fascinating and exciting stories from the description below the video.